All right, YouTubers, what if I got kind of carried away and decided to at least clean up the inlet ports on the hot side of this GT45 turbo? Do I think it's gonna make a huge difference? No, but there was a few little, what I would call like sand casting irregularities or like bumps down inside the inlets on this uh, cheap eBay, I say eBay, you know, inexpensive overseas GT45 turbo that I purchased on eBay. Uh, because apparently that how you refer to these turbos is highly sensitive to some people. So let's just focus on the fact that it had a really rough texture on the inlets to the hot side on the, on the turbo. Now, the downside is, is you can't go any farther, like you have your inlet here, but you can only reach maybe in this area. So you know what I mean? You have a good portion of this scroll or this snail uh, you can't reach. And then that air is, you know, funneled into this center channel to make your turbines turn. Um, another issue is it's really hard after you poured it to get it cleaned out. I'll show you because I've sprayed it out with brake clean several times and there's still GAC that's going to have to be burned out or whatever whenever we get the engine running. But I just wanted to kind of show you that I was cutting the edge off or the side off of that uh, base or that flange to clear my dash 10 uh, drain line setup and I got to looking down in there and I was like well there are some little pieces in there that were protruding from the surface I'll probably just knock those out just you know so they can't get hot and fall off or something dumb and that kind of morphed into the well if you're going to do that much why don't you just clean all the texture up and of course that morphed into, well, let's take down these little bumps that are in here for the bolts and I don't know, I'll give you a little closer look. I know this isn't the best angle and the best way to hold this light, but hopefully you'll be able to see down inside those ports where I re reduce the, now here's the, I will warn you, if anybody else is gonna follow my fool's path into working these, do not try to remove those bumps where they kicked it out for the bolts that mounted to the T4 flange. You're going to make it way too thin and the high heat that this will see will crack this uh, cast iron or whatever this is. So if you'll just notice, I've slightly reduced those bumps that stuck into the inlets and I've removed all of the casting texture as far as I can reach down inside those ports. Basically just messing around, you know what I mean? It was a $156 turbo, so it's not like I'm in danger of hurting anything. So I just thought, well, why not go ahead and take all that casting out of there, make it smooth to the touch and if it helps it, it helps it. If it don't, it don't. But I just found it kind of funny that I ended up kind of going a little farther than I meant to. And I just wanted to try to share that with you guys and just see, get your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this will help it at all? Do you think it'll improve anything? Because I am i can't think that it's going to make too much of a difference if anything that's measurable. Something you could think of is if you're going to clean up the inlet to any of the turbos you're working with, don't take off very much material because you're actually making that entrance a larger volume to a slight degree. And since this was already a 105 hot side, I was determined to just smooth and, and you know smooth out the texture slightly reduce those bumps and take the edges off, not adding any more volume to that hot side, you know, situation. Cause since this is going on a 4.8 liter engine, the last thing you want to do is go and make the 
stupid hot side so hot that it slows the spool down even more but hopefully it won't hurt anything and you know you get to messing around in the garage and one thing leads to another and then the, the might as well start and then what do you do so getting this thing to balance with a pain in the neck but I wanted to make a short video for you guys and just kind of show you what my you know idle hands and boredom came up with as far as you know cleaning out these ports and they're really smooth like I'm for as amount of time that I spent on them that look right there you can see in the reflection you know all that rough casting is removed it's smooth to the touch it's not polished or anything to that degree but if it helps hold down a little bit of carbon or something I don't guess it'll be a negative. Anyway, you guys hit up the comments, tell me if it was a huge waste of time, and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully this afternoon I'll be able to run over and get a little bit of video shot of uh, reinstalling the turbo and the drain line and probably the heater hoses on the Blazer. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit up the comments, guys. YouTube really appreciates those comments and I, I enjoy the interaction with my viewers and trying to answer some questions or whatever. So stay safe out there.